guys, today I'm super excited. I am becoming a baby. Choose your baby. I like this baby. Oh, wow, that's a nice looking baby. What is your name? My name is not Lewis. My name is Seymour Buttlicker. Okay, Seymour B for short. Oh, look at that. We're crawling to age number one. Oh, I'm adorable. Nobody pick me up. I'm just a baby. Oh, hey, there's <laughs> dad. I like a supportive father. And then we have a, a crazy mom uh -huh. doing crazy stuff because she's crazy. I'm given a decision. I get to pick between dad and mom. Well, considering my dad looks like he's been fresh out of prison, I'm going to go with my mom. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to go with you, Bob. Hey, oh, uh, ex what, what's going on? Wait, what? Was my dad going to do the same exact thing or was he going to use a bottle? On to age number two. Whoa, look at that. I got a little bit bigger. I don't have a binky anymore. I'm still in a diaper, but I got pretty tall. This is just like real life. Okay, well, hey, mom. What are you doing all the way over there? Do I have to crawl to you? Oh, God. Oh, what, what if I... Okay, <laughs> retry. No, thanks. I failed year number two. These are formidable years that I need to make sure that I don't mess up. Mom! Mom, please help me. I guess this is what builds character as a child. Mom, please don't let the ball touch me. I'm scared. I'm scared of balls. How is this thing even moving back and forth, Mom? There's a poltergeist living in our house, and you're not even a smidge concerned. <laughs> don't worry. I reached my mom, and now I get to be age three. If only life was actually this easy. Oh, wow. Look at that. My mom finally bought me a shirt after I'm three years old. Took long enough. Hey, Mom. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Oh, whoa. I just miraculously evolved as a child, and I can now stand on two limbs. Nice. Let's see. I can play with the vase, or I can play with the toy knight. Most normal kids would probably pick the toy knight. However, Seymour Buttlicker is no normal child. He likes to play with vases. All right, let's grab that. What am I going to do with it? Smash it and kill my mom? Oh, Dad, no! Oh god, I murdered my dad! Um, sorry about that, dad. <laughs> I didn't pass year three. I can only get older if I make the right decisions. I guess having a dad is important, so it is good that I maybe don't accidentally give my dad a concussion, so he goes into a coma and never remembers us. I will concede and I'll pick the toy knight, like any normal boy. Yes, there we go. I love my knight. I will name him Mr. Buttlicker. Hey, dad. I, I kind of didn't realize that you were even in my life because I didn't see you the first two years of my life. Um, did I break that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> totally normal reaction that every father has probably had to their child. Oh, I get a star. Wow, my dad's so proud of me. He gave me a gold star. Am I evolving? Am I actually a Pokemon? Well, I guess I do kind of look like a five-year-old child now. What are five-year-olds up to these days? Oh, wait, I'm already in school? I feel like I wasn't in school until I was like six or seven. What's happening to my head? Well, I guess that might be a love interest behind me. Maybe, possibly, Jennifer. I mean, she seems cute enough. Do I invite her for lunch or do I eat alone? I feel like I'm gonna be the loner child. I'm too nervous to talk to any other children. That's so sad. They're all eating lunch. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna have no friends growing up. Now that I'm six years old and have uh -uh. no friends, I guess my mom doesn't... What in the tarnation happened to that toilet? That's not even like a normal dirty toilet. That toilet looks like it's been through at least two world wars and maybe my father. Somebody actually fully diarrheaed all over this toilet and I am being forced to clean it, even though I swear I didn't do this. This is child labor at its finest. All right, well, I guess one sponge will clean all of the rust and many years of trauma that this toilet has been through. This has to be a sham wow. And we have done it. I love how the game lets me keep going if I really like this task and I want to make it extra sparkly. I'm going to be one of those overachiever kids. Okay, 99%. That is more than passing. <laughs> yes. Okay, it looks like the game sort of diverges into two different paths. So based on the decisions that I make when I'm seven years old, it'll affect if I die. Wait, do I go past there? D is that death? Do I die when I'm nine years old? Or if I go to the left, then I can continue living down the path of life. Okay, this is a big decision for a seven-year-old to make. Me and the fam, we're on a vacation. We have an RV, apparently, so I guess we have a little bit of cash. And I think there's another family over there. All right, they look like they're having a grand old time. Let's see, do I join them for three diamonds or do I fish? Well, considering I only have one diamond, I, I guess I'm gonna fish alone. 
<laughs> All by myself. <laughs> you guys want to join me? You guys want to fish? Does anybody want to fish with me? Or you got okay. All right, cool. You guys look like you're having a lot of fun. I'm, I'm gonna fish myself. Look at that. Look at that. I caught a fish. While you guys are over there starving, I'm actually gonna eat food. Look at that. That is some nice looking mackerel I just brought in. There we go. Okay, good. I went down the path of life. I'm not gonna die. Turns out playing with those kids would have been an untimely death for me. Seymour Buttlicker refuses to die. Okay, I have to tag everyone. How do I move? Do I just, do I wait for them to run into me? Oh, there we go. Figured out how to move. And you've been tagged. You've been tagged. Come here, Francis, you're mine. <laughs> Got him. That was the easiest <laughs> game of tag of my life. All right, eight-year-olds are playing tag. What are nine-year-olds up to? Oh, I think my hair changed. Ooh, all right. So it looks like it's around spooky season. Anything inside? I guess I can pull out a banana or a clown. I don't know, are these like snacks? Am I eating the banana or the clown? Or are these Halloween costumes? Because it's really unclear with the decisions that I'm presented with. I think I'm gonna go for the clown. Okay, good, I didn't dress up as a banana. Even though the clown is arguably worse. That is some clown costume. Luckily, it seems like... Whoever these children are that I, I guess I now have friends, they also decided to dress up and go as hard as I did. Amazing. Oh, what was this? Batman? Is that a grown man? Yo, what the heck, bro? Did we just get assaulted by a grown 40-year-old man and die? Well, I guess the right choice here was, after all, the banana. And it was really unclear as to why the banana was the right choice. All right. What's up, guys? Okay, good. Luckily... You guys also didn't dress up as a Joker because we would have all died together. Is Batman still going to be there? No. All right, cool. So Batman's not there. Where are we going? Oh, are we just trick-or-treating? Do we go to the nice house or the spooky house? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I would always go to the spooky house. The spooky houses generally had some of the best candy. <laughs> hey, thank you. See, look at that. They just handed us like a barrel's <laughs> worth of candy. Awesome. Now that I have cavities, we're gonna age up and we're 10 years old. What is inside of that pool? Huh? Are we all just willingly swimming in a pool of black tar? I feel like I'm ready to get out of this. We're all gonna die within like two years of this. I thought I picked the life route. What is that? Am I drowning? It's really difficult to tell because everything is so black and dark. I think I just drowned in black tar. Okay, we're gonna keep training. One hour later, <laughs> everybody's floating because they died. In one hour, I became Michael Phelps. I'm gonna go on to the Olympics. What did you just say to me? I think these are like Sims characters where they don't actually speak any actual language. Let's see, all right, he wants me to clean the car. Where did I teleport to? Did my father put me through a portal into like the flat earth world? All right, where else do I have to clean? Is that it? Oh wait, never mind. I could, I could do more or just, just next, okay. Now I am God floating above the car. <laughs> this is amazing. I might just open up my own car washing business. I feel like I'm extraordinary at this. Also dad, what happened to your car? I feel like somebody for sure did that on purpose because that did not look like normal wear and tear. <laughs> Oh, big decision coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the left side has a star. The right side, it looks like I die once again. The path kind of ends. So we're gonna try to figure out what the right decision is so I don't die. Do I pray for world peace or do I decide that God doesn't exist? It'll be real awkward if I pick that because there is a priest standing right to my left. Let's just see what happens if I click God doesn't exist. Is there an earthquake? I think I've just summoned the reckoning. <laughs> God almost just killed me. <laughs> well, yeah, that happened. <laughs> Good, that was apparently the right option because if I decided that I wanted world peace, I think I would have died. Let's see, and I also wouldn't have gotten this gold star and I wouldn't have aged up. I now have a cool jacket. It's the first jacket I've ever owned. My parents don't really like to buy me things. Ooh, all right, we're at school. Hey, all right, what's going on, everybody? What's up, Stan, Lisa, June? Hey, <laughs> hey, excuse me. Am I dead? <laughs> I think I just died. <laughs> do I fight or do I keep walking? I think I could take him. <laughs> I look like a scrawny 13 year old, but I know kung fu. That's right. Oh, tap to punch, punch, boom. Oh, that was weak. Oh God. <laughs> what is this one kid doing? <laughs> He's doing th this sort of dance. These are totally normal reactions when watching a school fight. Okay, I'm going for the max, which is all the way up there. <laughs> boom, knocked him out. <laughs> 
That's right. You don't mess with me. Everybody get out of my way. Oh, I got the girl too. <laughs> Life's too easy for 13 year old Seymour Buttlicker. What's this circle coming up? Is there a reality where I can constantly be 15 years old? It's like Groundhog Day where I keep just doing the same day over and over again. Okay, so after that fight, I now have a girlfriend. Her name is September. And I gotta figure out a way to get to September without, I guess, running into people. Well, it's more difficult than it looks. Oh god. <laughs> everybody keeps ragdolling. I kind of want to purposely run into everybody so they think that something's wrong with me. <laughs> this is worse than the NBA. Everybody is flopping so hard. Don't worry, September, I'm almost there. I just gotta tackle this dude <laughs> that is running aimlessly in the hallways. Like, what is he possibly doing? I don't know, what if I stand in his way? What if I just stand here? He could see me. How did you run into me? Uh, hey, September, all right, sorry. Yeah, I had some business to deal with and people to tackle. Like, what? Um, what is happening right now? Oh, God. Oh, God, it's my first kiss. I'm only 14 years old. Let's go, dude. All right, on to 15 years old. I'm a man now. Okay, yep, I was just having a nice old dream. Okay, all right, stop yawning. Do I go to school or do I skip school? Am I sick? Is there a reason to skip school or do I just get the option to not go to school? I mean, I would highly recommend everybody should go to school if they can, but we're gonna skip school. So on my day off, what do I do? Oh, hey, September. Oh, these are all the people that I tackled in the hallway, aren't they? Papa Naomi. Okay, yep. I guess she said, let's run into the forest together because that's the only reasonable explanation here. So is that the last time? <laughs> we, we, wait, what? What just happened? I skipped school so we could frolic around in the forest? Okay, next up, by the way, it looks like we're going from ages 16 to either 17, or this decision could turn me into a 21-year-old. I don't know how we're gonna skip five years. I guess it'll be like after Thanos snapped, just like it cuts to five years later. All right, this guy's doing some squats. You just died? Oh, never mind. Okay, there's water at the bottom. They're all jumping in. It's Seymour Buttlicker in September, the greatest love of the century, and it looks like we can either jump or don't jump, but jumping costs money. Let's see, I can get 35 gems for $3. I want to see if this is the route that takes me automatically to age 21, so I maybe bought it. Wait, what? That was the weirdest slow-mo ever. I don't know why they did like a freeze frame slow-mo there, but let's see. Was that the right option? Apparently not, because if I did the other option, I would be 21 years old if I didn't jump. Now I want to figure out what happens if I didn't jump. If you guys do want to see more of this game where I do different routes, make sure you guys leave a like and comment down below what I should do next time. Uh -oh. What did you just say to me? What, what's going on? I'm trying to play video games, September. Uh -oh. Just go do your own stuff. Wait, don't you dare. Don't. Are you kidding me right now? Do I ignore her or do I hug her? Well, I don't know if hugging her is the best option here because she did just unplug my game that I was playing. There's no option to throw her out the window. Okay, we're just gonna hug her because I guess maybe that's what she wants. No, no, no. Oh, she doesn't want that? Does, okay. So you're just gonna unplug my game and leave? What do you want? I don't understand women. Wow, okay, 20 years old. There's a lot of different options here. I'm evolving once again. I've become a legendary Pokemon, I mean, kid. A legendary kid. All right, it looks like I've gone the emo route. And it seems like there are one, two, three, four, five different paths in my life that I could take. I better get five decisions right now. Okay, let's see. So we're scrolling on our phone. We're on TikTok, having a good time. Oh, okay. So it looks like we're on a dating app. We're on like Tinder. Do I like Michelle? I guess me and September aren't dating anymore. So let's go. No, uh, definitely not Alice. Oh, hey, <laughs> what's going on, cutie? Okay. All right. Yeah, I like you. Are you sure? <laughs> it asked me, am I sure about this? Yes. 1,000% sure. <laughs> All right, looks like that takes me right down the middle path. So what kind of life is Seymour Buttlicker gonna live now that I have a gorilla <gasps> as a girlfriend? <laughs> Seems like it's going pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> 
we're just causing havoc. We're we're going to the arcade. We're having dance parties. Let's see. Do we do we do we rob this place for jewelry or bananas? I feel like I gotta take care of my my brand new girl, Gloria the gorilla. Let's go for some bananas, Gloria. Amana guy. Yep. You want some Amana guy? Yeah. She likes that. I know how to take care of Gloria. Gloria is a simple girl. She likes dancing, she likes amusement parks, she likes car crashes, and she likes bananas. It does kind of look like things might go wrong. Oh, oh, we're on an island together. I wonder if my parents approve of this. Let's see, oh my gosh, we're conquering the island. I did not see this going in this direction. I feel like we're just the happiest of people. Look at that. Gloria's watching over me. We're on a deserted island together, living life. We're, we're kind of hungry because apparently we decided to, you know, move out here and get rid of all of natural civilization's amazing things like Uber Eats, McDonald's. We didn't want any of that. No, we wanted to fight for our coconuts and fish. I guess I'll go for some coconuts. I mean, I don't know why Gloria can't just climb the tree. She is a gorilla. Oh, wait, is she gonna kill me? Oh my god, what? Gloria just murdered me. Okay, I can see why this might not work out. Gloria has a little bit of a temper problem. <laughs> we can speed up the process of our love life. <laughs> yeah. All right, Gloria, obviously you don't want a coconut. You want some fish. Oh wait, I just pulled a fish out of the water. <laughs> Gloria's like, yeah, you go see more butt liquor. And then she does her happy dance. I love when she does her happy dance. All right, 25 years old, and I think this might be the end of the line. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Wait, so, okay, we, we spent a couple years on the island. The island has elephants, horses, cows, a giraffe, which I'm pretty sure only exists in Africa. Gloria has a wedding gown on, and somehow we figured out how to make a bell in the middle of nowhere. And that's it. We died at 25 years old with a net worth of zero dollars, no career, minimal strength, and I was kind of happy. If you guys want to see more, make sure you guys click this video right here.